Welcome everyone to our Sprayer Clinic video. I'm Luke Schuster with Landmark Implement and in this video we're going to go through BoomTrack Pro settings and setup on a Gen 3 monitor. So for this video we are using a simulator so certain run pages may look a little bit different than what you've already got set up on your machine. Um, typically one of your run pages will probably have a shortcut key to make any adjustments to this but for this example we're going to go ahead and go through the main menu here and click on Sprayer. And from this page, there's two ways to get to it here. The bottom left hand corner, Boom Track Pro. Otherwise, in your right hand column, Tab D. And once we're in here, we're going to want to make sure it's enabled, obviously. Underneath that, center frame control. So this is going to dictate whether your center frame is moving or not. So if you have a set height that you want it to stay at and not move, leave that unchecked. Otherwise, if we're going to have it moving with the wings, go ahead and click that. Off to the right here, raise and lower response rate. So Depending on your terrain, you can make adjustments here. Obviously, the more severe, you'll probably want those higher. Less, smoother around, you can get away with lower rates. Sensor mode, this is going to dictate whether your sensors are reading off the top of the canopy or the ground. And target height mode over here works in sync with your center frame control. So as you see, when I click this, it will gray out my left and right hand wing. So everything is going to be dictated off the height of your center frame. Click it again, whites it out. You can click on your left wing and adjust it to whatever height that you want. Below that is just your current status of the sensors. And if there's an issue here at the very bottom, boom track status, go ahead and click that. Six boxes should come up green if everything is good to go when you got the boom unfolded. And if not, you'll see there's an X there, shows a fault code, determines what it is. Hopefully we can fix it through the monitor Depending on what it is, we may have to go back to the boom and check things out. I hope that helps, and thank you for watching the video.